Welcome to everyone. This video tutorial will be the continuation for this time domain specifications. Here we are already we discussed all our time domain specifications in the previous video, and we are going to derive the expression for each and every time domain specifications. Okay. Other than that uh, steady state error, we are going to derive. Uh, on, we are going to concentrate on these five parameters in this video. So now, so I told you right. We considered only second order underdam system. We considered this graph. I mean this response. So we are considering the second order equation. I mean the response, such as one minus e power minus eta omega n t divided by root of 1 minus eta square sin of omega dt plus theta. This is what we are uh, getting during the derivation of step response of second order under damped system. We considering all the systems are minimum having minimum order of 2 and also we are all considering all the systems are under damping condition so that is why we are considering we are starting the derivation from this equation itself ok right now first one is rise time tr ok so <clears throat> we know that tr is nothing but time to reach final value ok so tr Final value is nothing but 1. We are considering this derivation for unit step response of second order under dam system. So consider the final value is 1. Because we are giving unit step input, the system should be set at uh, unit 1. And I mean at output 1. Okay. So the final value is 1. So we know that during t equal to tr, c of t is equal to C of T R is it not so C of T R is equal to 1 minus e power we are substituting T R instead of T here ok so eta omega n T R divided by root of 1 minus eta square sin of omega d T R plus theta equal to 1 because we are saying at TR, the response will be 1. This is C of T, is it not? So, 1, 1 get cancelled. Okay. <coughs> See, this is what uh, we are having now. Minus E, minus eta, omega n, TR, divided by root of 1 minus eta square, sin omega d t r plus theta equal to 0 we are having ok so we need to choose the correct term uh, to be 0 I mean let's take a into b equal to 0 ok you need to it is it is obviously known that any one of the parameters is at the 0, then only the multiplication of these two terms is 0. Okay, So, any one of the term or otherwise, both the terms may be 0. We need to identify which term is 0, which term is non-zero, likewise we need to identify. Okay, First one, <coughs> let's take this term, I mean exponential term, this is sinusoidal term, which one is equivalent to 0? Okay. First, you inspect this term. Okay, so um, minus e power minus eta omega n tr equal to root of sorry, divided by root of 1 minus eta square whether it is equivalent to 0 or not. Okay, so consider consider this term you should know that e power minus infinity is equal to 0 e power minus infinity is equivalent to 0. See, we are having, if it is equivalent to 0 means, okay, if it is equivalent to 0 means, this is non-zero term. Okay, if you are 
keep if you are if you are transferring this term into right hand side means this term is getting cancelled now okay no need to bother about this term see minus also don't no need to go bother about this minus sign see e power minus eta omega n e power minus infinity is zero so e power this is infinity means we can say that this term is equivalent to zero see eta is somewhat finite value if it is is it not possible to set eta value as zero or one or anything because we are considering the case as under damped condition for under damped condition eta will be zero to one okay so eta should not be one uh, greater than one so it is not equivalent to infinity omega n is natural frequency it is not possible to set the natural frequency as infinity remaining thing is tr absolutely tr is not possible to be a infinite value because tr is nothing but some kind of narrow amount of time period it is not possible to set it as infinity value okay tr is nothing but the very short period it may be a fraction of seconds or milliseconds or microseconds for a system to reach the final value it may say it may take some some fraction of seconds only so it may, it may not be infinity so here eta omega n tr is not possible to be a infinite value so overall this e term is not possible to be a zero value one absolutely sin of omega d tr plus theta may be zero okay we know the sign series sin zero sin pi sin 2 pi equal to 0 so this sin series equivalent to 0 means so this pi term may be sin i mean omega d tr plus theta equal to we are assuming it as pi okay if you are assuming 0 means that will be a complex one okay so for our convenience we are taking we are considering it as pi so let's take the value of tr here pi minus theta divided by omega d this is the value of the unit is seconds that we already know so tr rise time is equal to pi minus theta divided by omega d we know that theta is equal to tan inverse of root of 1 minus eta square divided by eta omega d this is damping frequency damping frequency is nothing but omega n into root of eta square uh, sorry 1 minus eta square okay peak time we are going to derive the expression for peak time tp of course we are going to consider the system equation which is Uh, under damping condition, so we are considering second order system which is under damping condition. So we are considering this equation. So we know that the step response of second order system, especially for under damping condition, so which is somewhat like this. Okay, so this is time t. This is the response c of t. Okay, so at this particular time period t p. the response is getting somewhat peak okay so this is what we are called as peak time the time at which the response is getting somewhat peak value so this is what uh, we are calling it as peak time so we are going to uh, derive the expression for the term we are going to derive the formula for peak time here what we what we are going to do is so for any curve if you want to find out the maximum value so you need to differentiate the term and must equate with the zero so you can this will give the peak value of that particular curve okay so this is what we are going to do so we are going to take first order derivative of sorry first order derivative of c of t at time equal to tp then we are going to equate with zero okay so we are going to differentiate the whole equation with respect to t so we are going to substitute the whole differentiation term equal to zero so we know that at maximum time t is equal to tp 
okay so after differentiating and after equating with the zero we are going to substitute p p instead of p so after rearranging that equation we will get a value of pp okay so this is what we are going to do now let's derive the expression now okay so d of c of ct c of t divided by dt is equal to so uh, first order derivative with respect to t so 1 if you are taking derivation we have first order derivation for this 1 it will be 0 and we are having this term uh, with respect to t we are going to derive uh, differentiate so but the t is available in both exponential as well as sinusoidal term okay so absolutely we need to use uv formula so exponential term i am taking it as u v sinusoidal term we are going i am going to take it as v term so u into v is equal to u dash v plus u v dash that we already know this is uv formula let me apply the same formula here so so exponential term exponential term if you are differentiating this exponential term means we will get this a solution e power minus solution omega eta omega t divided by root of 1 minus this is u dash okay minus eta omega n into minus e power minus eta omega n t divided by root of 1 minus eta square this is v term into sin omega dt plus theta this is u dash v plus v dash u v dash u is nothing but u you keep the u as same this is u term v dash sinusoidal okay so sin will be convert into cos okay so this is what we are getting so let's simplify the term minus into minus plus so we are having eta omega n into e power e to minus eta omega n t divided by root of 1 minus eta square sin of omega dt plus theta plus uh, sorry we are having minus here this minus will come here so e power minus eta omega n t divided by root of 1 minus eta square uh, cos omega dt plus theta okay so we will take this denominator term as common uh, sorry e power as well as the Uh, here sorry here one more omega d will come is it not because i am taking sinusoidal uh, sorry differentiation term for this sinusoidal uh, term uh, while taking differentiation for this term i will get cos omega d d there is one omega d is multiplied with the d so there will be a omega d will be in this place okay then now see in this equation i am taking e power minus eta omega n t divided by root of 1 minus eta square as common so eta omega n sin of omega dt plus theta minus uh, omega d into cos of omega dt plus theta this is the term i am getting for Uh, for d c of t divided by dt okay so we know that formula for damping this is damping frequency damping frequency is nothing but omega n into root of 1 minus eta square is it not so let me substitute this value of omega d in this previous equation we will get e power minus eta omega n omega n t divided by root of 1 minus eta square we will get eta omega n sin of omega dt plus theta this is theta minus omega n root of 1 minus eta square cos omega dt plus theta so from this equation we can take we can take omega n as constant uh, the answer will be omega n into e power minus eta omega n t divided by root of 1 minus eta square we will get eta sin omega dt plus theta minus root of 1 minus eta square cos of omega dt plus theta this is what we are getting now so during the derivation of step response of second order system we considered one 
triangle right angle triangle exactly it is a rectangle triangle that we considered so this is theta this is hypotenuse value is 1 this is eta and root of 1 minus eta square this is for our simple consideration in order to simplify the whole derivation the whole equation if you are uh, if you are converting this eta term i mean this eta letter term into some trigonometric function means the whole equation can be simplified into a single trigonometric function this is the this is somewhat mixing of both uh, algebraic and trigonometric function is it not so that is why we are considering this equation this sorry we are, we are considering this triangle right angle triangle by the way we are replacing uh, we are replacing what sin theta is equal to opposite side by adjacent side so 1 minus eta square cos theta is what adjacent side by hypotenuse so eta so let we substitute uh, cos theta instead of eta sin theta instead of this term so we will get omega n minus uh, e power sorry omega n into e power minus eta omega n t divided by root of 1 minus eta square into cos theta into sin of omega dt plus theta minus sin theta into cos of omega dt plus theta this is what we are getting okay so we can we, we know the formula for sin a minus b is equal to sin a cos b minus cos a sin b okay so we are going to consider a as omega dt plus theta b as theta okay so so i told you right so in order to um, compress the whole equation into a single trigonometric term like sin a minus b we are replacing these terms so so let me let me simplify this whole term this is f yeah, differentiation of c of t is equal to omega n e power minus eta omega n t divided by root of 1 minus eta square so sin of a minus b is it not so a is omega dt plus theta minus theta so theta theta will cancel we are getting the equation such as okay equal to omega n e power minus eta omega n t divided by root of 1 minus eta square into sin omega dt this is what we are getting okay during the starting time i, I told you that the peak time uh, i mean sorry the peak value of a particular curve is possible to find by means of this method okay we found this equation okay so peak time is peak value is obtained as time equal to dp is it not as per our the uh, our concept that this peak value is obtained at the value of t equal to dp let's substitute and equate substitute the value of t as dp you can see let's substitute the value of t as dp in this equation and equate with the zero you will get a polynomial and keep the tp as left side bring all the terms at right side you will get the value of tp i mean the time peak time okay so let's substitute the value of tp here and equate with the zero okay so d of at t equal to tp zero okay so omega n e power minus eta omega n tp divided by root of 1 minus eta square sin of omega d tp equal to zero okay so absolutely we are having two terms exponential term and sinusoidal term during the rise time derivation itself i told you that uh, a into b equal to zero so either a or b must be equal to zero that is why the multiplication of that 2 ab is nothing but zero we got okay so exponential term it is not possible to be zero because we are having tp here eta omega n omega n this omega n this eta everything it is not possible to be zero value okay natural frequency is not supposed to be zero 
eta value is not possible to be zero because the, we are considering this as a under damp condition. So we are saying that e power minus eta omega n t p divided by root of one minus eta square along with omega n is not possible to be zero. There is a possibility to be sinusoidal term to be equal equal to zero. This is the possible solution. So when uh, when the sin theta is the value of sin theta is getting zero for zero uh, sin, uh, sin theta equal to zero for the value of theta as zero pi two pi. This is the series of theta values which is making the sin theta as zero. So we are considering that sin omega d p equal to maybe pi. So sorry omega omega d t p equal to pi. Okay. So instead of this we are going to consider this. Okay. So t p equal to pi by omega t into this seconds. Okay. So in other words we can also say in terms of eta. So t p is equal to pi by omega n root of 1 minus eta square. This is the expression for peak time. So this is possible by means of considering this solution derivating uh, taking differentiation for this c of t and equating with the zero. While equating with the zero you substitute t equal to tp and then by rearranging the equation we will get tp as pi by omega d or pi by omega n into root of 1 minus eta square. The time unit for the peak time is seconds. Now let's derive the expression for the next time domain specification. This is peak overshoot percentage MP. You are uh, we are uh, going to find out the percentage, percentile value, which means how much of percentage our response is getting increased with respect to the final value. Okay, so this is what percentage MP. Okay, so this is time, this is CRP that already we know. This is peak time. Okay, so this is peak value. So this is the final value. I mean the, the set point value we, what we want to set as final this is final value so as per the definition the percentage MP is nothing but this is the ratio okay so the percentage peak overshoot or percentage MP is nothing but the ratio uh, of C of TP minus C of infinity divided by C of infinity into 100 okay this is the ratio of the peak value at peak time and the final and the final value okay so this is the c of t response at t equal to tp this is the response at t equal to infinity so which means at infinite infinite the time okay so at infinity at time equal to infinity the system is reaching the stable condition and the system is reaching the final value so that is why we are substituting C of infinity here. So ratio between peak value and the final value. So by multiplying 100 we are getting the value of percentage. Okay. So let us now take the C of T equation. This is the step response of second order system. Okay. Let us substitute C of T equal to infinity. Okay, one minus e power infinity into anything infinity root of one minus eta square sine of omega into infinity plus theta. Okay, so this is this is equal to one because e power minus infinity is zero zero into anything as zero. So answer is one. Okay, let's find the value of c of t. Uh, C of T P. Okay, 
So you have Tp is nothing but 1 minus e power minus eta omega n Tp divided by 1 minus eta square. So sine of omega d Tp plus theta equal uh, equal to what? Uh, we, we, we know that. Uh, we, we know the value of Tp. Recently we derived the value of Tp as omega pi divided by omega d. Is it not? Let me substitute the value of omega d here. Uh, sorry, pi Tp here. 1 minus e power minus eta omega n uh, pi by omega d divided by root of 1 minus eta square uh, sine of omega d into pi by omega d plus theta so this omega d omega d will get cancelled so we are getting c of tp is equal to 1 minus e power minus eta omega n pi by so instead of omega d damping frequency we know that omega n into 1 minus eta square, root of 1 minus eta square. If we substitute the value of omega d here, we are getting this expression and we are having sine of pi plus theta. So, we know that the value of so we know that the value of sine okay, sine plus theta, sine of uh, sorry, we know that the value of sine of pi theta, okay, sine of pi plus theta, sine of pi plus theta is equal to minus sine theta. This omega n, omega n will get cancelled. So, we are, we are getting the expression such as C of Tp is equal to 1 minus e power minus eta, uh, sorry, omega n is absent, pi by omega root of 1 minus eta square, minus root of square minus sine theta okay so minus into minus we will get this term as plus e power minus eta pi by root of minus eta square divided by root of square into sine theta okay so we are going to substitute the same in this equation in this equation itself, sorry. this equation itself we are going to substitute. So we will get C of sorry, percentage MP. We will get uh, actually we considered one sorry before substituting that value. We considered one right angle triangle, is it not? Theta. See, uh, whenever we are having the, some mixing of algebraic and sinusoidal term, keep in mind we need to take this right angle triangle. Okay, so theta, this is 1 minus theta square, hypotenuse is 1. So sine theta equal to root of 1 minus theta square. Okay, so this sine theta can be replaced by means of this 1 minus root of 1 minus theta square. Then both of them get cancelled. So we will get C of Tp as 1 plus e power minus eta pi divided by root of 1 minus eta square. Okay, so this is the simple concept we need to uh, keep in our mind. Okay, whenever we are uh, solving one equation, okay, I mean, it is, uh, this is all regarding to our step response based time domain specification concepts. Okay, so if you want to remove this sin theta, so somewhat mixing of algebraic and trigonometric functions is that means we are considering this, we are having some assumptions like with the help of a triangle prior, triangle itself we are we are assuming one concept so apply that concept you will get some simplified, simplified terms ok, now we are having C of T infinity C of infinity is value as 1 and uh, we are having the C of Tp as 1 plus so and so, so let's substitute these two values in this equation we will get percentage mp is equal to uh, 1 plus e power minus eta pi by root of 1 minus eta square c of infinity is minus uh, 1 divided by 1 into 100 1 minus 1 is 0 so percentage mp is equal to e power minus eta pi by root of 1 minus eta square into 100 this is the uh, expression we are getting for the value of peak overshoot okay so the unit is percentage okay. 
So because we are multiplying the term whole terms with hundred, yeah. So so the, the unit for this particular peak overshoot is nothing but percentage. So particular percentage of its peak value, I mean the, its its final value, the system is producing. Likewise, we have to represent. Now we are going to derive the expression for settling time. Settling time T s. So okay. settling time is nothing but this is the time period. Okay, T s. This is the time period at which the time. Uh, sorry, I'm which at which the system is taking or staying in a steady state response. Okay, so. If you are, uh, if you are just analyzing the waveform during the time period T s, there will be a very small oscillation. Okay, this is the assume this is the step set point value. Okay, there will be a small oscillation. Likewise, this is this is the small this is the, this is the small kind of oscillations. We are we are saying that plus or minus two percentage or plus or minus five percentage is the allowable tolerance okay if there is a uh, 15% of uh, plus or minus 15% of error means that time is not a settling time okay see suppose i am not uh, saying i am not able to say this time as settling time because in this place in this time period if you are making zoom to your uh, time response there will be a huge amplitude errors so it is nearer to 15 percentage means it is not correct to say this is settling time settling time is decided as the response which is making plus or minus 2 percentage or plus or minus 5 percentage tolerance okay so let me derive the response for settling time C of t is equal to 1 minus e power minus eta omega n t divided by root of 1 minus eta square into sin of omega dt plus theta. Okay. So, this, in this expression, okay, we need to find out which, which term is making this small kind of vibration or small kind of oscillations. Okay. So we need to find that uh, parameter. Okay. So we are having these two parameters as mainly in this equation. One is exponential term, another one is sinusoidal term. Okay. So exponential term is nothing but which is nothing but decaying exponential term. Okay. So we are saying that this e power minus eta omega n t divided by root of one minus eta square is nothing but decaying exponential term and we are saying sine of omega d t plus theta is nothing but sinusoidal term okay so <coughs> we are going to consider this is the main factor that is creating the oscillation okay so we, we need to consider this the, the error the two percentage or five percentage error is due to this exponential term this is what decaying exponential term okay whatever making the whatever may be the sinusoidal term is making some continuous oscillation the responsibility of making the system to stay in within two or per five percentage means the responsibility is fully goes to this exponential term only so the, we are conserving this exponential term is, this decaying exponential term is making the error, I mean 2 percentage error. 2 percentage is equal to 0 0.02. So we are equating this whole term as 0 0.02. Okay. So uh, this is possible at time t equal to t s. Is it not? So, uh, from this equation itself we are going to find out the value of T s okay. so for least value of omega value eta value this will be less than 1 ok 
so there is a very small amount of value is we are getting for this well this term so we can neglect this term we are going to only keep this term for our derivation okay so let's uh, to find the value of ts we are going to take natural logarithm on both side this exponential term will get cancelled we are getting ln of 0 0.02 here and ts is nothing but minus ln of 0 0.02 divided by eta omega n the unit is seconds so this is the settling time okay this is the settling time uh, for two percentage okay if you want to find out the value of settling time at 5 percentage T is equal to minus ln of 0.05 divided by eta omega n. The unit is seconds. Okay. So this is the expression for settling time for making or for staying in 2 percentage or 5 percentage error. So one thing you have to keep in mind always uh, the value of T uh, yes during the 5 percentage error is always uh, less than okay it is lesser than 2 percentage error this is very very important while doing while solving any problem related to settling time you need to keep that the value of settling time at 5 percentage error should be less than value of settling time at 2 percentage error because my error is getting reduced from 100 percentage even though from 125 percentage itself it is keep reducing and it is settling initially it is reaching it is crossing 5 percentage okay after that only it will reach 2 percentage so always keep in mind so 5 percentage error I mean the settling time due to 5 percentage tolerance will be lesser than settling time due to 2 per stage error. Thank you.